<laughs> so now I, I'm going to offer a meditation uh, which is really uh, specifically designed uh, to allow us to cultivate an experience of gratitude. And uh, there'll be some loving kindness and compassion uh, in there as well for good measure because loving kindness and compassion are uh, qualities which allow gratitude to uh, flourish. It's kind of a nourishing uh, soil for the seeds of gratitude, so to speak. So, uh, but mostly uh, focusing on the quality of gratitude in this meditation. Now, this is a resourcing practice, it's known in, in some, in many traditions, in the Tibetan tradition, uh, which I've studied, and, and in other traditions as well. Uh, one might call this a resourcing practice. And it's considered that because we can go into the experience of gratitude uh, after the meditation. So we take this up maybe as a practice for a week or two weeks. That gratitude, that experience of gratitude becomes available to us as a source of stability. So if we uh, find ourselves in a challenging situation, for example, or maybe we turn on the news and there's some news there that we find uh, challenging to comprehend or to digest, uh, that gratitude is now there as a stable foundation for us to digest and encounter uh, more challenging experiences. Now, it's known uh, through science, through neurology, that the human mind has what's known as a negative uh, bias, negativity bias. We all know this, right? If we've had a, if we leave the house or the apartment in the morning, we have a list of a hundred things to do. We do ninety-nine things exactly the way we wanted them to go, and we did the one thing at the bottom. We we messed up a little bit. When we get home that night, we're obsessing about that one thing, right? We all have that uh, tendency to, to focus on the one negative aspect in our environment or that happened that day. And it's, it's a part of our human uh, survival mechanism. Our mind is wired that way so that, you know, 10,000 years ago when we were needing to survive in the wild, we could point out the danger in the environment and move away from that danger and, and move towards comfort. So we, we, you know, thousands and thousands of years have gone by, we've evolved as human beings and we've kept this habitual tendency. But many practitioners, many meditators, many teachers believe that that is an outdated habit. We don't need to do that anymore. And so a couple of times when we were going around the circle here, uh, the word balance came up, right? So here we use this resourcing practice of gratitude, could be loving kindness or compassion as well, to balance out that negative bias, that negativity bias that we all have habitually ingrained in us. So maybe we're not so focused on that one item of discomfort because we have this st stable foundation in gratitude or in loving kindness or in compassion to balance that out. We can start to let that habit go, that outdated habit go, and live our life more through loving kindness or through gratitude like that. So that's the idea there. And this will become clear as we go through the guided meditation, how we can allow that uh, very, very powerful experience of gratitude or of loving kindness or compassion to really soak into our bones, into our muscles, into our heart, into our mind, uh, so that we can really uh, wire our neurons together so that they continue to fire in that way. It's a very common phrase now in neurology, neurons that wire together, fire together. Neurons that fire together, wire together, that's it. And so we're trying to get the neurons here firing together uh, in loving kindness, in compassion, in gratitude, so that we build that capacity so it happens 
uh, more and more naturally, more and more freely. Like that. So that's the idea behind the practice that I'm about to guide. So this practice will unfold in the following way. I'm just going to walk us through it right now so that there are no surprises, and then we'll go into it together and I'll guide the whole, the whole way through. I'll bring our awareness and attention to present moment experiences. And there are many, many, there are actually thousands of present moment experiences happening all of the time. Obviously, we won't go through all thousands of them. But what I will do is guide us through the breath and just systematically pointing out different sensations that you might be noticing uh, as a result of being a breathing human being. Uh, this, can, this could be sensations at the nose or the back of the throat or the body moving with the breath and so forth like that. Now, some people find the breath actually rather challenging or inaccessible. It could be any number of reasons for that, but it does happen sometimes. So I like to offer an alternative to the breath, and that is sensations that arise in other places of the body, like sensations of the feet against the floor, clothing against the legs, and so forth. So we'll do a very brief body scan, just noting different sensations in the body. Now, if the body doesn't feel accessible, but the breath felt more accessible, you're welcome to stay with the breath. These are all optional points of contact with the present moment, right? Breath is always present moment experience. Sensations of body are always present moment experiences. And for some people, uh, the breath and the body feels challenging. That, that doesn't feel accessible. And that's fine because we have the sounds. And so if you wish, you can use the sounds that are arising in your environment as a way of bringing you into contact with the present moment. That's also equally uh, as effective as the breath or the body like that. So if there's cars playing or the neighbor's television or a bird song or my cat's playing with a cardboard box. So anything like that uh, you can use as a part of the meditation practice to really bring you into the here and now like that. So we'll spend about 10 minutes just moving through different aspects of the present moment. When you find an anchor or two or three or five, it doesn't matter how many or how few, but when you find one that really speaks to you, you can stay there. And if that's the breath, just staying with the breath like that. And that's great. Sounds, whatever speaks to you, whatever works for you as an anchor into the here and now, the present moment like that. Then we'll really focus our awareness and attention on a pleasant experience, a pleasant memory, a feel-good experience. And this is the resourcing part of the meditation. This can be done through a visualization. You can like visualize maybe, for me, it's always my cat. I, I just have this really great connection with my kitten. So I, I like to visualize holding her or, or petting her, or playing with her. And that allows my heart to open. For you, it could be having a conversation with a loved one or a, fa a family member or a friend. It could be communing with nature, watching a sunset or a sunrise. Uh, whatever it is um, that allows you to rest and the heart to open, like that. So it could be any number of things. Also, it could be a move that you made towards self-care. So that's another option there. And as Ambika was saying in her guide, we are love, right? And so anytime we move towards self-care, we're actually moving towards love for ourself. So even just being here tonight or today or this morning, whatever time it is where you are, uh, even being here right now is a move towards self-love. So maybe you could use that as your resourcing experience. What does it feel like that I made the decision to be here to take care of myself right now? And to really tap into that, that could work as well. Or any move, taking yourself to a nice meal or to see a movie, whatever works for you in that way. So that's an option too. We're really just uh, using the visualization aspect or the memory aspect of this meditation 
to allow our heart to open. So whatever works for you in that way. And I'll guide all of that. Uh, and there'll be some phrases that we'll bring into our heart of compassion, self-compassion, that really, as I said, helps facilitate the, the blossoming of that gratitude. Uh, and then we'll really focus on it, allow the what I, I call turning up the volume of the gratitude, of the loving kindness, of compassion, really allowing that to move through our body, kind of ooze into the marrow of the bones. And the deeper we can do that, the, the more we're allowing those neurons to fire together and wire together so that we can have access to that experience when we're not meditating. Uh, and then we'll let all of that go and we'll come back to the present moment. And I, again, I'm going to guide all of that as well. Uh, so I think that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Are there any questions uh, about any of what I just mentioned before we get started? Anything you'd like to have addressed? Clear as mud. Uh, okay, so a couple of uh, last minute pointers. Uh, this can be done in any position, lying down, standing up, sitting on a cushion or in a chair, however you're comfortable. If you do decide to lie down, uh, be aware that sleep could happen. Uh, and if that does start to happen, feel free to move. And in any position, Always feel free to move during the meditation. If you're uncomfortable, if you just feel like you need to stand, uh, that's fine. Any and all of the meditation is optional. So if you feel like you're getting emotionally triggered, which can happen, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen from time to time. Uh, so if that starts to happen, you can just come back and be with the breath or the body or the sounds. And I recommend sounds uh, for that. Uh, because that gets you away from your emotional chamber and into the environment like that. So sounds can be really a great way of anchoring out of any um, emotional reactivity that might happen during meditation. It doesn't happen often. I don't want to scare anyone away. Um, but just so that you have the tool there at, in your toolbox in case something like that uh, does occur. Um, eyes open or closed. That was the other thing, yeah. So it can be done, this can be done with your eyes open if you feel that's comfortable, with your eyes closed if you feel that's comfortable, whatever makes you feel comfortable uh, in the situation. And you can play around with that too. You can switch back and forth. So it does not that you've dedicated the whole meditation to having your eyes closed or open. You can switch back and forth. Okay, that's it. So enjoy. Uh, this meditation into gratitude. So as a way of opening into this gratitude meditation, I would like to invite you all to invite the body, mind, and heart to rest. Noticing any obvious tensions in the body, and you can invite those tensions to relax, grow soft. Letting any concerns or thoughts of the upcoming days go. Thoughts or concerns of the days past, you can let all of that go as well. And just rest. You may also invite your heart to rest. Vast and open like the blue sky. As we turn into the meditation, the invitation here is to recognize the breathing process, starting with the nose.
perhaps noticing a cool or a dry sensation arising from the nostrils. Allowing awareness to expand to include the back of the throat and perhaps simply noticing the temperature changing from cooler to warmer at the nose and the back of the throat perhaps. You might notice the breathing as it moves through the rib cage, inviting the rib cage to expand and contract with each breath. Perhaps noticing sensations of clothing moving to adjust with the rising and falling of the body. Or you might notice the shoulders rising and falling with each breath. There might be sensations of the upper back moving out as you breathe in and in as you breathe out. Or you might notice the abdomen rising and falling as you inhale and exhale. Noticing the lower back moving out as you breathe in and in as you breathe out. And so we'll rest right there for a few moments. And if the breath, breath is accessible for you, anchoring your awareness in any aspect of the breathing process, noticing how the breath moves through the body. And while resting here with the breathing process, I'd like to now invite you to the sensations of the body. First, noticing any sensations arising throughout the feet. Perhaps noticing the feet against a mat or floor or a carpet. Perhaps noticing socks on your feet or shoes. Or perhaps a gentle breeze generated by a fan or air conditioning or heater. Just noticing any sensation arising from the feet, inviting the muscles in the feet to rest and relax. You might also notice sensations arising as clothing against the legs inviting the muscles in the legs to unwind and grow soft. Perhaps noticing the weight of the body against the chair or cushion, mat or floor. Inviting the muscles underneath those sensations to rest. Perhaps noticing sensations of clothing against the back. Inviting the muscles in the back to relax and unwind. You might also notice the hands resting against the body or touching each other. The arms resting against the body. Inviting the hands and arms to relax, rest. Perhaps noticing sensations of clothing against the shoulders. 
inviting the muscles in the shoulders to grow soft and unwind. You might also notice sensations arising throughout the back of the neck, inviting the muscles in the neck to relax and rest. There might be sensations arising throughout the cheeks of the face, letting any tension or stress that's held in the face muscles go. And noticing any sensations arising from the crown of the head, the very top of the head. And while resting here in this present moment experience, noticing any sensations of the breathing process or multiple sensations, Sensations arising throughout the body. I'd like to invite you now, if you wish, to listen to the present moment. Listen to any sounds which might be available. You can either focus on one sound in particular, or you might choose to listen to the entire field of sound. The entire canopy of sound. Or if you're in a completely silent environment, listening to the field of silence. And so we'll rest right here for a few breaths. The invitation here is to anchor your awareness into intimate contact with the present moment. Sensations of the breath and or body and or sound or silence. And now, while resting here in this present moment, allow a memory, either through a visualization or just recollection, of a feel-good experience into your awareness. This can be hap something that happened today, or something that happened recently or a long time ago doesn't matter when it happened. As long as this experience allows your heart to open, this might be the memory of a heartfelt conversation you had with a loved one or a friend, perhaps a conversation filled with laughter or a meaningful dialogue. Or this might be communing with an animal, a pet, a dog or a cat, a puppy or kitten. Allow this heart opening experience to fill your awareness. This might feel to you like a warmth, or you might see a light, perhaps, 
or a vibration. There's no wrong or right way of experiencing the heart opening. It's your experience. If you wish, you can choose to remember or recall an act of self-care. What did it feel like to make that decision towards self-care? And in that recollection, you might feel the heart opening as well. And so we'll rest here in this experience of the open heart. And as you breathe in, allow the breath to reach your heart, accessing that warmth, that vibration, that light, that loving kindness. And as you exhale, allow that warmth and light and loving kindness to flow through your body, drenching your body to the very marrow of your bones, vibrating and shimmering out to the surface of your skin. And we'll rest there for a few breaths, just enjoying this gratitude, this heart opening warmth, this move of self kindness and compassion and care. And as an option here, I'd like to invite you to place either one hand or both hands on your heart. I can sometimes facilitate the heart opening a little bit deeper. And we'll begin offering phrases of compassion and loving kindness to our own heart. May I be happy. May I be safe and at ease. It's been a challenging year. I've done a great job.
May I be healthy. Just continue extending these phrases of compassion, loving kindness to your own heart. Whatever resonates with your heart. You can use the examples I gave or create your own. May we all be happy. May we all be safe and at ease. It's been a challenging year. We've done a great job. May we all be healthy. And as you rest here, allowing the warmth, the vibration, the light of loving kindness and compassion, of gratitude, noticing it and any small sliver of warmth, of light, of loving kindness, Focus intently your intention on that sliver. Or it might be a big piece of your awareness. The size doesn't matter, but focus intently on what that feels like. What does this feel like in the body, mind, and heart? And imagine now you had a volume knob for that feeling. And slowly increase the volume so that it fills your entire awareness. From the marrow of the bones to the surface of your skin, to the room that you're in, filling the house or the apartment that you're in. Just allow yourself to rest in that goodness, that loving kindness, that gratitude, that compassion. And just allowing that gratitude to fill your being, breath in, breath out. And in a few breaths, I'll be inviting you all back to the conversational space of the Zoom conference. 
And I'll signal that by three bells. Allow the bells to act as ripples through your awareness, bringing any warmth, any loving kindness or compassion through your awareness with the ripple of the bells. 